You're both doing this? Yeah. I, okay. My name is Beth Chensky. Wes Costanzo here. And I'm Eleanor Kensington Bauer. And this is Princess. Who's a good princess? America has elected a tyrannical Neanderthal, so we have taken it upon ourselves to break away from the masses and create a nation of our own. <gasps> Welcome yes, to yes. our- One for you, one for you, one for you. Come on, come on, one for you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And one for mommy. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Who's my sweetie? Who's my professional? Sweetie? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I worked in D.C. I was Senator Hastings' right-hand man. In fact, I was a bit of a maverick. Almost too mavericky. In fact, one day he said, Son, you're too different to be here. Maybe you should take on a project. A project far, far from here. Actually, very far away. You're fired. I uh, met Beth and... Eleanor at the DNC this year, and uh, that's great. Imagine you're a wildflower. Life is beautiful in your wildflower field where you're just minding your own wildflower business. And then someone says you can't have water anymore because it's not on your health plan, and that sunshine is gonna cost you a million dollars, and that any bee can come along and do whatever he likes to you, and that's when you know it's time to leave the fucking field. She's an activist, she knows what she's doing. Eleanor, you know, she brings something very important to the table. Get me from my good side. I'm not paying you to make me look ugly. <laughs> Money. So, my husband is in oil, and a few years back he bought me an island. No big thing. So the plan is to use my rental property here as a headquarters for the nation until we get enough citizens to move to the island. Well, anyway, we're videotaping this because we're starting a new nation and we want you to join us. Do you have a name for the nation yet? Sorry? What are you going to call this nation? Do you have a name yet for the nation? I'm sorry, what? The, the name of the nation? You know what, I don't believe in labels. Why not something in Latin? Latin it's, is the language of the oppressor. It's the oh, there's no one language of the oppressor. I speak 10 languages. You speak 10 languages? C. What if we choose something that everyone in the world can pronounce? Something that defies language, like... Mm, oh. oh, I love it. No! What if we get announced at the UN? We're gonna sound like a porn pop-up. <gasps> How about... No, Eleanor porn? Land. The, the, that so, sounds, the whole is great. It's no. classic, it's simple. But it's not just Eleanor Land, it's Westland and Bethland too. So... What if we take a part of each of our names and make that the name. The, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. What is this, kindergarten? That sounds fair. It's like how they make decisions at my country club, right? Yeah, like, that sounds fair. Beth is be. Beth. Beth Wenor! Beth Wenor! Beth Wenor!